This is an 86-page document, again, from the Freedom of Information. FOIA documents pertaining to Fukushima free and available to the public, although my understanding is now there's a multiple ways to access the document. If you go to the page I've been sending people, that seems to be an area where if you've sued for freedom of information for a particular date or particular event, it is loaded into that uh, area where you can access it and look at it. But my understanding, and again, I'm a layman in a lot of this, is that it's all going into a freedom of information file. Everything is being recorded most of the time, is my understanding. So there's documents always going in, and there's a huge stockpile in the background of just everything. But then specifically, if you file for certain things like the Associated Press did early on, again, I, I bet you alternative media outlets, because some of them claim to be so big, and they even talk about the Sunshine Project in Texas and Freedom of Information. But when this thing went down, they didn't file for the documents themselves. I mean, even AP did. Washington Post is talking about it. So, I mean, there's a big failure in these Freedom of Information documents. Now, this particular... 86 page, let's get back to the subject, 86 page are here, and I want to look at, we're on page one. This is an email, a series of emails, and then an emergency response update, and later it's called a brief as we chronologically go in time. And I probably won't get to the NTTF recommendation guidelines, but that's probably good because I need another day to, to dig into that and try to analyze. And I've got a quick paragraph I posted up on the Uncovering uh, Plume Gate blog, it gives a quick summation of basically what I found in there. If you want to dig into that, I posted a lot of screen captures up there. You can read that on the WordPress Uncovering Plumegate blog. So this is from Michael Weber. This is on the 18th. Well, that would be seven days a week after the Fukushima meltdown. Sent to the LIA07 Hawk. And what I gather that is from reading these documents is it is the like the Freedom of Information Committee slash media control, information control. Anything and everything is being routed through channels, especially the information. Now, like I say, not everyone's in on the cover-up. You know, some of them compartmentalize it, some are new, some of them have no clue what's going on. One of them blurted out about the children's doses in California when his buddy was trying to keep quiet about it. So, you know, it's not, a, it's not an absolute professional run, you know, well-oiled machine, but they do pretty good to keep the information contained. And if it does leak out, they're actively searching, as one of these documents I post up there will show you at the very back, page 352, read backwards to page 351. You'll see where they say, hey, someone's posted up a, a plume plot and it's got the NRC logo on it. They say, oh, well, we've got to do something about that. And they're not sure if it's official or unofficial source, not, don't know how they got it, and they're very concerned with making contact with this website. If they don't voluntarily take it down, they say they'll do whatever it takes, including contact law enforcement. So they can be very harsh and very aggressive about it. It seems they're mostly worried about the more popular sites that seem to attract more uh, people who are searching and uh, larger numbers of people is what I'm trying to say. So those, they prioritize. Obviously, a person like me that's probably got just a handful of people paying attention to me, not that big a threat to them. If you're Alex Jones, you know, that he ever said something and started posting, you know, what I tell you in these documents, so there'd be quite an uproar over it, I guarantee it. And if on The View, if on The View during daytime television programming, Barbara Wawa were to say something about it, and then maybe Whoopi would say, and what about the 40,000 from Sherman Magano, and then the one blonde girl would say, and what about the children's dose of the California? Think what can happen. See, that's got to be stopped at all costs, folks, because then people have information. They can make better decisions. They say, oh, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Are you serious? Because when you realize what it takes to keep them running in one of these catastrophic meltdowns, it's a Herculean task. It is a Herculean task. Okay. We're looking at this USNRC emergency response update. He says, thanks. Thinking about the level of detail that might be appropriate for a daily one-page summary of current status for Congress, you might consider something like the following. They're, they're very careful to make sure there's different filters. The public at large doesn't get much at all anywhere. And you can go to informable and read a lot of good stuff, but I'm telling you there's even better stuff available if you really want to dig and find it for yourself. So there's different level of filters. There's the public's level. There's what Congress may get a different level. Blumenauer and Boxer are writing letters saying, hey, well, how can you assure us of what measures and steps you're taking? We want to know if dust from China is coming over here. What's to keep us from getting radiated? 
and they, I'm sure they're given their, you know, they're not given the complete story, I promise you that, and there's clear evidence of that in here, that the U.S. states are given a different story, and the congressmen could be given a different story, and so different levels of filters of information. Some of the top, probably Pentagon or somewhere in that intelligence, is gathering all the complete information to be sure. That's right? probably filed away in that giant warehouse where Indiana Jones had the the Ark of the Covenant filed away, you know, you'll never, you may never know. You may never know some of these things, folks. It, let's face it, this is a secretive police state. It really, really is. And just because they're not kicking your door and now yelling at you doesn't mean it's not going to happen to somebody today, you know. So keep in mind, this control of information goes hand in hand with fascism in a, a police state. It's very secretive. Even the congressmen are given a different level of information. Now, some of them are well aware of exactly what's going on. Make no mistake. Some of them are quite ignorant. Okay, and some of them may just not even care. You know, I, I don't know about all the details, but certainly some of them are kept ignorant. Some of them don't know. Some of them probably have a very good idea what's going on and are playing along with the game. And you have to, to a large degree, to pull off a conspiracy this big. And like I say, it's all in the alternative and independent, too. And Plume Gate has always been my depth sound, although I've got a list of things I'm building now that seems to be a number of very politically sensitive subjects that no one wants to talk about. And so I guess they're never going to get fixed because people are going to settle for 70% of their freaking pancakes. You know what I'm saying? So that, how is that going to work for America? How is that working for you, America? They're building new reactors. They're licensing. I'm going to go with my mom to the meeting in Bronson. You can't talk, but you can listen to them. And they're not going to consider the fact that they're liars. They're not going to consider the fact that they are winging it by and large. There's all these unusual things that happen they can't account for. You can procedure and plan all you want. They don't want to mention that at these meetings. So it's very carefully controlled, even your ability to argue against this failed industry. You can only argue certain things. We'll let you argue against it. But kind of like George Bush, you can ask him any question you want, as long as it's out of his hat full of questions. Same with Obama. You don't really think those debate questions weren't scripted, right? especially the lady about gun control. What are you going to do about the shooting? She knows this Google MK Ultra lady is what I would tell you. Google MK Ultra and read Jesse Ventura's book about in the 60s. They got two girls hypnotized to plant briefcase bombs. So think about it. People need to start to think like the Sherlock Holmes detective. They're ruling stuff out and dismissing stuff without even giving it due consideration. It won't even look at the facts. I had a guy the other day post up Alex Jones' money bomb. So I post up a couple of my articles and he... One of them's 5,000 words worth of evidence, folks. You know what he says? You can't be serious within a second, couple seconds. The guy claims to be a life coach. I said, you're a life coach, buddy, but you won't even read. You dismissed offhand my contention without even how are you going to life coach people. What are you missing that you're not telling them, you know? And this is part of the problem is people's inability to think critically and, and weigh evidence fairly and give it due consideration. I'm not telling you there's a... A, a, a green beanstalk with a giant in the clouds. You know, I'm telling you something that's within the realm of physical possibility. It's not that bizarre. It's not that oddball. It's not that unlikely to happen. Okay, so I'm showing you on this page early on, they're talking about what we're going to give to the congressman. Let me grab my notes here real quick, and let's take a look. One to page one to two. Okay, page four to five is the real deal, what they're actually going to give them. You can see here also on page two, it says NRC is cooperating with the DOE, EPA, NOAA, and other agencies in conducting radioactive plume modeling and assessing radioactive contamination within Japan. That was the one initially that says, hey, how about we give this to the congressman? We're telling them we're modeling a plume within Japan. Okay, now secretly, if you look in the documents, they've long been bitter and neric modeling all these plumes and what have you in the United States. And I'm telling you, I've got plumes in the documents there that show it turned right and went towards Tokyo. Was there warnings for Tokyo? Was there evacuation? Folks, TEPCO, Schmepco, they're all the same. It's called fascism. It's called globalism. There's no more nations. It's giant corporations calling the shock. They don't care about the Tokyo people. They don't care about the Californian people. That is my contention. And Obama got away with this on his watch thanks to alternative media outlets, and they know who they are. And, I, and folks, while I'm at it, i got a Halloween special coming up. I'm going to crank up my diesel Greyhound bus, and I'm going to run over every troll I know out in the street. Halloween night, I'm calling everyone out. Please don't miss that one, because these are the guys that let Obama get away with it. And Romney, too, because once you unveil the whole conspiracy and all these agencies and characters and everything they're doing to keep us from this information, from the plume and fallout and the 40,000 deaths, you realize, like, my gosh, 
Why didn't they trade that up and down since July? Since July of 2011. Wow, and these are the these are professionals, folks. You ought to put me to work, man, because I was just one guy myself. I seem to be doing better research and posting a better. I'm I'm showing things that no one else. I'm telling you right now. If you look at the five documents I gave you tonight, dig through those and dig through the NTTF recommendations. Holy crap! Oh, I don't think people really understand just the the whole on glass glass house type scenario that we're in. These are ticking time bombs. That's not an un, unapt description. That's a perfect description. And let me tell you something. It, when they go off, it's not an unguided weapon. They say, well, Fukushima is like a dirty bomb going off and going off. True, true, but they aim it because heart controls the jet stream. Jet stream pulls the radiation. If you can control when it rains, you can move the jet stream and make it rain on a particular place. And that is a directed weapon. That is a directed nuclear weapon, my friend. Something to consider, and please keep in the in your mind these possibilities. Technology advances whether they let us know it or not. Remember that. So we see clearly in the first couple pages what we want to give the congressman. We don't want to tell him we're modeling just yet, man. Hold off. We leak it out slow. Damage mitigation. Gatekeeping is what it's called. Boy, I ran into that in the alternative media, man. Okay, I'm going to go to page four to five. Actually, the page three is a... It's like a status update. And there's a number of these throughout the documents where you can you can really see early on they knew things were a lot worse than anybody was telling us, right? But it's all damage control. You can't come out and say, oh, my gosh, you know, if we had a multiple meltdown, people's dying all over the place. There will be an upcry, an outroar to, to end nuclear power. It's one of my contentions why it's being suppressed is they're, they're protecting this industry. Well, we have to ask ourselves, what are we going to pay in the end for nuclear power? I mean, maybe you get some electricity sent to your PS3. You can watch the ball game tonight. You can take a hot shower. But in the end, what are we going to pay on this planet when it's all said and done? In 50 years and 100 years, your great-grandkids, the great-great-grandkids, if they're even there, if their sperm count's even high enough to reproduce. So you see the severity is there. Oh, it's critical that we're all becoming informed about the situation and going to do something about it. Right? We cannot just stand by and continue to report on the USS Liberty. Right? Nothing's going to come of that. I would like a new investigation for 9-11, but right now I think that's probably passed and we're not going to get justice on it. Maybe we could concentrate on something in the present, in the here, and the now, in the real, with actual times and places. And look, even if we didn't get a single conviction on Flimgate, let's just pretend that, you know, it just doesn't happen. We reveal to the American public the size and extent of the conspiracy and the cover-up and all these people working together. They do not understand that that is a reality, and that is indeed revealed in these documents. Debbie, the kitty cats, if they begin to act up much more, we will have to arrest them and put them in the room. I apologize if not my kitty cat really, I don't know. Has my kitty cat made a deal with somebody to sabotage my show I don't know about? <laughs> All right, folks, now page four to five is the real deal. This is what they're actually going to send out. That's my understanding. It says official use only, but it's all being recorded, freedom of information. That's one thing I like about the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Is they are recording these events and these words and transcripts and phone calls and meetings and what have you so we can look back. Freedom of information is very precious, ladies and gentlemen, if they ever take that away from us. We're in bad shape. We wouldn't even know this little scraps of information we're getting here. And to be sure, there's some heavy redaction. But I've come across a couple documents where there's a line crossed through, and it's as if the redaction's been removed somehow or something. I can read certain things, and it's pretty heavy-duty stuff. We're going to get to that in the next couple of days. Probably won't cover it all tonight. But I want to make sure I elaborate on certain points and certain things so you know, as Obama said, so you know... Well, I know, right? Didn't he say that about the... Wow, folks. I can't believe he's going to skate on through to the election and going to make it through, man. I tell you what. Romney's up there yammering about it being clean energy. See how they let it get away with it? And this has been out since July, all this stuff. Okay. So right here, let's see. What I want to point out on the four to five. Highlighted section. The Department of Energy and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency are the federal communicators on questions regarding possible domestic impacts from the events in Japan and on domestic monitoring. They're letting people know. There's an avenue information travels, right? You give it to us. In certain instances, you see that I think it's uh, National Energy Institute or one of these 
multitude of anacronym agencies, is collecting information from the nuclear plants. They say, if you detect something from Fukushima, all right, you turn that into us, we turned it into NRC or EPA, whatever. there's a flow, there's a path travel of information. Now, in the same instance, that guy in the power nuclear power plant who's forwarding that information up the chain of command revealed in the documents the same guy down the chain of the command to the people that work at that nuclear facility, he's prepared a brief for them that says it's the bare minimum they detected, just the bare minimum. Now, again, these are proven liars. I don't have evidence that they detected some huge amount at the power plant. It's quite the contrary. They've been very careful at hiding it, and you can clearly see that in the documents. So while I can't tell you that it was however many millicuries per cube square per minute, or whatever the description is, I can show you how this conspiracy to hide this information and this cover-up works, the in, 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 innate working parts, the mechanical parts, if you will, of this conspiracy. And it's very important that Americans begin to understand this has been going on for a long time. In 64 something, they shot JFK. That's the official coup, if you will. Like they say, Russia would have been informed in that day that someone would have gone to the Kremlin and said there's been a coup in America and powers changed hands. We know that. So they've got a lot. They're doing these things. They're doing information control. They're basically having their way with us right now. And don't fall for these intros to these shows that say, we've got the new world order on the run. You know, that's totally bogus, folks. I'm telling you right now, we are hurting and we're getting beat up bad. I mean, and the, the, the tactic, as Sun Tzu would tell you, the common military tactic is to convince your enemy through propaganda that he is, in fact, winning the war. But he's not. He's losing the war, and you try to fool him into that. And that's very advantageous when all of a sudden your enemy realizes, hey, you've got an overwhelming force of you're facing that you never knew about. You never even knew it existed. And that's what I fear a lot of hidden technology and a lot of things we don't know about. There's so much we don't know about. It's critical as people. We come together now. We begin to decide what's important to us on planet Earth. Is it money? Is it movies, flashy cars, gold chains? Or is it just having a nice planet and living a decent life? It's not going to be a fantastic thriller of a life. You know, maybe you don't jump out of some freaking balloon from outer space and float back to Earth, okay, but you will live a nice life when you're – and you don't have to be totally primitive. You have to be very careful. No one is – is using rational forethought and planning with this whole human evolution thing. Are they? It just seems to be like a, a wreck on the highway. Like one car hits another car, hits another car, and after 20 cars, you got to pile up, and that's where we're at right now, folks. So it's time to get involved, time to get in these documents. You can clearly see who's got the lead, how the information flows, and who's in control. Now let me go down to page 7. Ah, folks, we're not going to miss this one tonight. I told you we're going to talk about this Unit 4. Let's see. It's at the bottom of this page. Here we go. Protective Measures Team. PMT stands for Protective Measures Team. A lot of acronyms to confuse you. And I saw a video, I think it was on Miss Milky the Clown's YouTube channel. You should subscribe to her while I'm thinking about it. And 2012 Truthers, while I'm thinking about it as well. Anyway, on her channel, this video shows the NRC at some meeting somewhere, and the lady is talking to the general public out in the audience. And she says, I'm paraphrasing, don't worry about digging into these documents because there's so many acronyms and terminology, you know, it's very difficult to figure out, and there's no list for the acronyms that explains them. And I'm thinking to myself, that's a total lie. I've been to the documents. I've got at least two places of notation where they have a list of acronyms, and they do explain what it is to you. And in some instances, they give you a little bit of an explanation. So there's a lot of deception going on. They don't want these housewives of America looking into this. I find that women seem to be much more concerned about this issue than men, right? And I think that's obviously because of the maternal instinct and the whole baby thing, right? They don't want their babies getting hurt. I know men don't either, you know, but it seems, seems to me the most interest I'm getting is out of the fairer sex seems to understand and take it very seriously, the issue, the, the subject of this failed, archaic monopoly that is so extremely dangerous. Nuclear power, folks, it's long time. It's, it's so over. It's so yesterday and so dangerous. And you know what? There's alternative energy, but it's being suppressed. They don't want to talk about that either. There's a total lack in the alternative media, by and large, about some. I mean, I know you see your, when you load up the screen, there's the, the government doesn't want you to have this energy making device. Well, if you look into those fall goods the bus, I mean, if it was good, everyone would have one. I'd have one right now. So they are suppressing technology. That is part of the scheme. It's part of the scam, part of the monopoly. Now, protective measures team, because I told you, somebody's lying about Unit 4, right? Scary, scary, scary. 
Naratu told Gunderson. Gunderson told Mike Adams. Mike Adams told Jones. Jones told somebody. Pretty soon, scary, scary, scary. It's falling down, but I've seen no pictures of it. I haven't seen. I've seen cracks of Fort Calhoun here tonight. You know, so what I can and can't see are two different. What I can believe and who I can trust are two different things now, aren't it? Because the ones I can trust are going deep into the FOIA documents and revealing that conspiracy, revealing all those agencies, all those people, what they said, how they hid the plume, how they took this information dragnet. What was the result? Thousands, 40,000 uh, estimate, and I think it's in, by 2031, they're estimating one point something million cancer fatalities from Fukushima. So, and again, in the docu documents, they say, we know all about Chernobyl. We have the benefit of knowing about Chernobyl and samples from Chernobyl. We're modeling off of Chernobyl. Meanwhile, when the threads online, the tolls are saying, Chernobyl only killed 50 people. What are you talking about? Radiation can't float through the air. It's too heavy. I hear it. Look at my calculation, right? That actually happened to me. The guy told me that. I gave him all my messages. He blocked me, and they told me up, and the lady wrote an article said I'm an agent. I mean, get real. These people got lots of money. That's an understatement. Trillions. And that's just the Rothschilds and the standard oil guys. And people will do anything for money, folks. I'm telling you now, I can only conclude these people are being compensated somehow to lie and deceive and to not tell us certain things, distracting us with the red cape like the matador and the bull. Meanwhile, behind them is the most giant elephant in the room of all the Freedom of Information documents. I'm never going to give up on it because it is the world's largest provable conspiracy to date. I've seen none greater. If you know of something bigger and you've got proof of it and some documentation, hey, I'd love to know about it. Check out the links I post up tonight. I, you know, I might not get to all of them, but go on your own and read for yourself. It's super interesting reading, by the way. I find it very fascinating. Okay, now, the PMT is working with DOE NARAC, Department of Energy. NARAC does the modeling for the plumes and the fallout in the atmosphere to refine source term models in an effort to develop dose projections beyond 50 miles. 50-mile distinction is made because NRC RASCAL modeling is only capable to estimate dose values out to 50 miles. Therefore, NRC has responsibility to develop source terms and dose projections within Japan, up to 50 miles from the reactor site, while DOE has a lead for dose projections beyond 50 miles and for the United States and territories. DOE. And you remember I read the other day that you've got the NRC, they're saying, well, the DOE wants to send a contingent of guys down here. Like, no, 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 because we'll have to wrangle them. You know, they know that DOE is going to be a problem. So as bad as I, NRC, you tend to think they are, DOE may be even worse of an organization. And certainly in the Three Mile Island, we know they said, no, nah, there's nothing happening here. Everything's fine. And meanwhile, Three Mile Island's paying a one point something million to Down syndrome uh, child, a family with a Down syndrome child. So, so there's some major deception going, as I repeat constantly to tell you. The source term provided to NARAC was, here's the kicker. The source term provided to NARAC was, one, 25% of the total fuel in Unit 2 released to the atmosphere, two, 50% of the total spent fuel from Unit 3 was released to the atmosphere, and three, 100% of the total spent fuel was released to the atmosphere from Unit 4. Let me repeat that again, number three. 100% of the total spent fuel was released to the atmosphere from Unit 4. All 96-hour dose projections, Alaska, Hawaii, West Coast, are well below the one rem total effective dose. Protective action guideline based on predicted cesium-137 deposition. Except for Alaska, all thyroid dose estimates are well below the EPA 5 rem protective action guide, PAG. The thyroid estimate is very conservative and does not consider intervention actions like distribution of potassium iodide, again an admission that a potassium iodide could help, I mean, right there. But then in another part, they tell you when reporters ask, no, 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 we're not sending it to Japan while they secretly are. No, you don't need it around here at Reactors Here. It only covers you against cesium. Well, better you cover me against that than nothing else, you know. You drop me into a pit full of spiders, and there's two different kinds, and you say, well, i got an answer venom for one, but it'll only cure you for one, so no need throwing it down to you. You know, does that make a lot of sense? I say, throw me the damn one cure for the one spider. At least I only get bit by one. It's common sense. A lot of lying going on here, folks. Like I say, someone's a liar. Someone is the biggest liar in the world, man. And they can't cover their tracks. You can't when you're a liar. You really can't. I've busted more trolls and more lying in the last year and a half than in my whole life I ever thought. I ever thought. I never knew. Deception and lying and secrecy and cover-ups. I mean, not just in the government, but alternative media. Come on. 
The thyroid estimate is very conservative and does not consider intervention actions like distribution of potassium iodide, removing dairy cows from contaminated pastures, or interdicting milk or leafy vegetables contaminated with iodine-131. It wasn't even in France they were warning people not to eat certain kale or leafy stuff. They actually had warnings, rainwater warnings, food warnings, milk warnings. Over here, radnet monitors went out suspiciously, weren't working, went offline. You know, it's just the craziest thing. I'm telling you what happened in America, and, and I discussed this with my mom the other day. I said, when you look at the response to Fukushima, the cover-up and them letting us get hit by the plume and the media hiding it and alternative, I said, Americans are treated the worst maybe than even China or Russian, I don't care what you say. I'm telling you now I have the evidence to back up my claims. Americans are treated like less than cattle because even cattle you try to keep alive to take the market or you know, it's almost like the depopulation event fits right in there because if you're trying to save our lives, wouldn't you have issued warnings? Stay out of the rain, potassium iodide, don't eat from that contaminated pasture, get a good food supply, wear N95 breather masks for crying out loud. Tell you women and children, stay indoor. Don't push the baby carriage out on the beach in California. Think about the bulk of this stuff coming out in the first couple, three weeks. Obama's in South America, coincidentally. We're getting blasted over here. The initial uh, mortality index study, Mangana Sherman, showed 12, almost 13,000 fatalities, 800 infant um, uh, fatalities. So we got hit hard, and we weren't told. And other countries were, if you look at the blog talk post I got today, you can see cycling through on the pictures, the rainwater warning for you know, France and uh, United Kingdom and one other country. There's, there's more than that. More countries gave warnings. But we, we even got warnings back when Chernobyl went off in Oregon, right? I think Michigan or somewhere else, if I remember right. So we had rainwater warnings back in 86 when Chernobyl melted down here in the States. But Fukushima in a direct jet stream, Pacific jet stream, we didn't get anything. In fact, when the Surgeon General came out and was asked, should we stock up on potassium iodide, if you remember right after the incident, she was asked publicly and on camera, and she said that wouldn't be an unreasonable idea. I'm paraphrasing. Something that affected it wouldn't be unreasonable to have that and probably not a bad idea. Within an hour, she came back out publicly on camera to say, no, you don't need it. Okay, a total, absolute retraction. So the obvious conclusion is she had a phone call. Someone contacted her. Like Ralph Nader says, when you elect them, it's almost as if someone intercepts them before they get to office and things change. Isn't it, though, folks? And that's fascism. I dislike fascism greatly. I really do. I really do because I used to be a Well, I'm still a musician, but not to the degree I was. Obviously, I'm reading FOIA documents instead of writing and working on my song, Confirmed Reptilian, that's coming up, right? So I'm spending my time learning about CC and deposition, well, I should be studying Phrygian scales and working on my shuffle beat for my new song, folks. That's a fact. And this is sad. Don't tell me America's a beautiful country. I don't want to get off on a tangent. But, folks, when you read these documents, it answers all the questions, every single one. And if you've got any questions about this country, you're not sure what this country is all about, start digging in. And do you really want to know? Because if you don't, go into your football game. You won't be sitting here this long tonight if you don't want to know, obviously. In fact, you still listen to me. If you've been here this whole time, you care. And you want to know. And that's the difference. So we see here clearly that they're saying, got a little distracted there, Unit 4, they're saying we did modeling off 100% of the total spent fuel that was released from Unit 4. This is the same one they've been scaring you up on for a long time. Now, now someone is giving us disinformation, misinformation, lying, or combination of both, right? They could all be lying if you think about it. You have to begin to consider all possibilities and eliminate the ones that are most ridiculous and don't fit, working your way down to some core reality, folks. You have to become an investigator because the mainstream show ain't going to do it, right? Okay, you got the alternative. Where are they on the for you doctors? Even informable is not. Some of the stuff I've seen recently, I'm like scratching my head. I'm scratching my head because nobody, nobody. Oh, well, how are we not? I'm cracking my bus up, run some trolls over in the street, join me. Okay, we see here clearly that Unit four corners model, no big deal, no big deal. So someone's not being honest. Is the modeling inaccurate? And I would probably suggest that's the most likely story. When you look at their modeling, when you look at what they want us to know, and remember, they know they're being recorded. They know they're being recorded. They talk about for you. Remember, the freedom of information, send all your email to here so we can redact it. I mean, that's not freedom. That ain't democracy, and it's not transparency. And when we're talking nuclear power, Look, I don't think we're going to be able to settle for anything less than total absolute transparency. It's so damn dangerous. 
And when we have a meltdown over here, what's gonna, what are people going to say? I'm just going to wag my finger and say, I told you so. I told you so. Why did it have to happen? Why did it have to happen? You can't understand why people don't get involved. I'm going to go to page 10. I want to make sure and elaborate and give you some opinion and give you some context and try and, I don't want to preach too much, but at some point I'm trying to get people motivated to go out and actually, and get, maybe you weren't involved before, but now you understand it's a very serious situation. When you look at the plume models and one melts down, you know the wind changes direction. and Fukushima, it went in all directions. It really did. They say, well, it went northwest. It did, but just before it went southwest and right at Tokyo. I mean, 75 kilometers, the big heavy section of the plume, you can see it clearly in the document. So there's not much difference, I tell you, between plume gate and probably progress or any of these others. I don't want to slander any of these companies, but they seem to be very shady and mostly concerned about profit margin over our lives and our livelihood and our health. And we've got a study called the Tooth Fairy Study that goes in and samples children's teeth. And I think if Mangano is still taking baby teeth, if you want to send the baby teeth in, they'll... They want to know how close you live to a power plant, and they test the tooth for strontium. And as the study goes, the closer they get to a power plant, the higher the level of strontium. So these older reactors, they have what are called effluent. And the NRC, we'll post this up on their website. You can read about it. And apparently the effluent is a discharge. It's a radioactive discharge. There's no way around it. That's what it is. All plants do it. If they have to relieve pressure, better relieve a little bit of pressure and have a little bit of radiation go out than have the plant melt down or have some major incident. So in these effluents in the turkey point test, they're showing that closer to the plant, the children had more strontium in their teeth. None of these plants are safe. Again, this only comes with careful study because you don't hear it on mainstream. You might get some of this on the alternative media. There's some... I don't deny, even Alex Jones had the guy from When Technology Fails, and he even kept his mouth shut long enough for, I can't, I should know the guy's name. He's really good, very, very well informed. And he was able to speak his mind about systematically shutting all these plants down and what it would take to do that. And I do not deny on that one episode he was allowed full reign during that section to describe what the, the massive effort it would take, to, the massive undertaking to do that. It is no easy feat. We have to decommission. We have to store spent fuel pool. With stuff has to cool down five to ten years before you can even put it in a dry cast. And then you've got to maintain those casts for how long? Folks, it's how long be dead, right? And they'll still be there. That's a fact. So... Let's get back to the documents. We've got 15 minutes left here. Okay, I'm on page 10. Okay, my notation, Palo Verde particulate grab. What I wanted to mention here was, and it's more than just one generating station here in the states that detected radiation from Fukushima. Diablo Canyon detected it. The Nine Mile Station in New York detected it. The uh, Jenna power plant generating station near New York detected it, and maybe others I haven't come across yet. Now, of course, the amounts they claim they detected are super low, but I put it to you in the brief. The guy says, here's what I give the people in the power plant, and then they say, okay, and give the rest of the information to us. And you can clearly see there's, again, channels and information as being very selectively given to certain people. So when they say the measurement's low, like I say with Unit 4, if I had to side with someone, I'd say I'd probably side with the fear mongers on Unit 4 because I know they're going to test low, and they always are. You're not going to – isn't that the sorriest thing about it, that we can get real-time factual information to keep ourselves safe? It's very coveted, and then we're giving us some cleanse and sanitized versions, not very close to reality because if you believe Obama and what his NRC and experts told him, we've nothing to worry about, not even in Hawaii. For crying out loud, not even Hawaii safe, according to Obama and the NRC folks. Isn't that amazing? Looks like I'll never get to surf there, I suppose. Now, Palo Verde Generating Station provided values for samples drawn on Unit 2 Auxiliary Building Roof on 3 So not only is the military watching the radiation and calculating and studying and documenting and analyzing it, but the power stations are as well, and then you've got some of the RADnet monitors went down. Some were recalibrated to where when they came back up, they produced a level even lower than what the background was previously. So we knew, and I give Alexander Higgins credit for posting an article on this one, we knew that they'd been tampered with by the very fact the baseline had now dropped beneath what a Cold War bomb era radiation was, and so you certainly wouldn't have less radiation in the air after Fukushima, so we know something's not right there. 
So multiple stations were detecting uh, radiation and probably not giving an accurate reporting. Again, they know they're being recorded. They know about the FOIA documents. Their dragnet is well in place. They're a well-honed machine. They've done this before. This is getting to be a, you know, pretty soon it's just going to be second nature. They're not even going to think about it, and we won't get any information at all. Okay, so it's top of page 11. Okay, exactly. Very good. Page 11 on this document. Let me back up just a little bit here. NARAC calculations. Again, NARAC's doing these plume modeling and modeling of atmospheric particles or ejections into the atmosphere. It doesn't have to be radioactive plume. It could be black carbon or from a coal plant or uh, SO4. They can model the acid rain and that kind of stuff. In fact, the NILU, which I think is Swedish or Norwegian or something, they originally, that's what they did, specialized in sulfuric acid and black carbon and modeling of other from power plants and what was in the air. But after Fukushima, they started modeling radioactive cesium and iodine, xenon as a gas, again, largely untested. They say they don't really know, according to my studies, what it does to people. You know, so therefore, it's safe, right? You know, so NIL used doing modeling early on, but then when that caught on, and i got to give Dutch Sense credit, he posted about that early on, and as soon as he posted and it started getting traction on YouTube, that site stopped uh, modeling the radiation from Fukushima. Very suspicious. Again, just like the Surgeon General, I suspect, got a phone call and said, you go out and not only retract it, but get on camera and retract it for the public, because we're not going to have anyone knowing about what's going on here. This is damn serious. If they knew about these power plants and the truth about them, they're ticking time bombs, ticking time bombs. If you don't know what they're going to do in the next couple of days, we're going to cover all this. We're going to look at plume modeling. We'll look at actual real effects in Fukushima. People are being threatened. It's hard to get information out over there as well. People are being threatened over here, I'm told, about these FOIA documents. There's a large amount of intimidation and threats going on. But you know what, folks? Certain things are worth dying for. And if we do not address this severe issue, we are going to have a serious situation for our children and their children. This will, you know, I'm 44. I'll probably die and be gone before the worst of it hits, maybe, if I'm lucky. But I have a couple more meltdowns in this planet. You're not going to want to be here, I can tell you that. Now, it says, NARAC calculations completed performing a dose assessment for Tokyo using the supercore, quote, unquote, supercore source term. Plume estimates are considered extreme worst case scenarios. And there's a spot in here where the ambassador says he wants a more pessimistic scenario. Right? People are complaining and say, hey, what are you modeling off a of half a source term or something? Give me the pessimistic scenario. Give me the worst case scenario, man. And they should have done that at the beginning. Said, What's the worst case scenario? Prepare for that. Prepare the American public for that. Okay, folks, my earpiece feels like it may be losing power. I hope I'm not losing transmission here, but I'll continue. With nine minutes left here. I made it two hours. Commercial free, don't get paid. Total truth, the full truth as fast as I, I know I elaborate. But it's important you get the full picture of what happened to me with the alternative media, with the FOIA documents, with the big conspiracy, the whole big picture, right? You need to know that. It's critical. Otherwise, you're living in the dark, folks. Plume estimates are considered extreme worst-case scenarios. Results to be discussed at 321 White House meeting, okay? We've got numerous instances where we know the White House took a lead early on. They were waiting in this document. If you read through this one between now and the next time I come on, you can see they're waiting a number of times for decisions to be made by the White House. No, it doesn't say Barack Obama told us to do this, okay? But Hillary Clinton's name is mentioned in here, and I'm following up on that, folks. If I can find out what that document was they handed to her, maybe there's something in there she didn't tell us about, right? And then I can put two and two together. Of course, Hillary probably had me, she probably had me, you know, rubbed out for sure. So I'll leave that. You guys can dig in and help, and maybe you'll find Hillary Clinton, and maybe you'll write that article, you know? Maybe I don't want to write it after all. It's damn dangerous the Clintons and the Bush family are some old crime syndicate families that you do not cross them. Stu Webb's lawsuit has to do with the Bush crime family. I mean, they will send hit people after you to, to whack you. That's a fact. It's like a movie. It really is. But there's so much money in this monopoly, the energy monopoly, folks. In the last couple of minutes, let me sum up here. And please do go through these documents. I post up four, five, six of them in the NTTF recommendations where you really get a great idea what it would take to make our plants moderately safe. And that's my opinion on that. But I think if they did all those steps and took all those procedures, you still can't guarantee. There's still no guarantee. And it only takes one massive meltdown to just ruin this entire area and, and damage so many people. It's phenomenal. It is like another weapon of war about this strange 
you know, back door, not even, maybe not even on purpose. Maybe they just sporadically built them, not really giving it a whole lot of thought into the future. Now they're in this terrible spot, like I say, this highway pileup, and there's no easy way out. Well, you release the press technology. Okay, you begin to tell us the truth, number one. Seriously, folks, transparency tells the truth. Release the hidden technology, 5,000 plus patents being suppressed. You want jobs? Well, then we start decommissioning nuclear plants and building, you know, some kind of, it's not solar farms. I'm not too big on that idea, but I like the idea of each house has solar panels that are 80% efficient. We, we do away with the 20% more than that, and they seize a punt. That's bogus, totally bogus. Give people 100% efficient, 80%. 70% would be better, and turn the home into a power generating station. Yes, the corporations lose power. I know. Ooh, that's so, so terrible. Power goes back to people. Money goes back to people. That money can be used to stay healthy, to get an education, to, to fix your car, to do anything. We're paying so much in power. Now, I tell you, my opinion is this. I don't have a formula to prove it, but I think we're paying about, we should be paying about five cents on the dollar for energy. Because some of these devices I've looked into, it's a matter of the bearings wearing out or magnets needing to be replaced, it greatly decreases the cost. It's not free or doesn't come out of a magical dimension and elves deliver you a package of electricity. But it's much a greater reduced cost. It's much more efficient, much more cost effective once they're mass produced. You know, the guy in Australia can't mass produce it because no bank wants to touch it. They know not to touch it. They know they are not allowed to finance someone who's going to produce a super cheap form of energy. My own fathers had proposals denied by the Obama and Bush administration, both Democrats and Republicans. He's basically got what I call a super battery, right? Aren't you tired of using all those double A's and everything? Uh, Toyota was trying to contact him about it, right? America wasn't interested in it. Freaking Toyota's contacting my dad about it. That's a real experience, first or second hand. I know my father fairly well and I've heard his stories about it. And then, so there's real suppression. You release that. You create jobs decommissioning the plants, and we begin to clean up, not just this country, but, you know, France and, and Germany. I think Germany is already shutting them down or whatever, so something to look into. Some countries are already taking steps to do something about it. What are we doing over here? We can't even get alternative media to step up to the plate, folks. Hold them accountable. Okay, hold them accountable. Again, remember, and I'm out of here in just a second, have a special on Halloween night. Do you hear that sound right there? You listen, listen close, folks. You hear that? Well, that's the sound of my Greyhound bus cranking up out back. Yes, it sure is. And Halloween night, I'm taking out for a ride, folks. And any troll that's out in the street, I'm going to run them over. I might back up over them one time even and take off again. Okay, so Halloween night, folks, it's all about trolls. I don't know what time I'm going to go on, but I'm, I'm laying it on the line that night, man. I'm laying on They better send that black ops assassin between now and then, folks, because that night of all the dirt, all the evidence, anything I got. Maybe a little speculation, too. Maybe a lot of speculation. <laughs> Who knows? So join me for that. And I may be back tomorrow night. Let me get some information together tomorrow, and I'll post up if I'm going to do another blog talk tomorrow night. I've got just a couple minutes left, and I really appreciate everyone for joining me and taking interest in a subject of paramount importance. I cannot stress enough. Once you understand these documents, it explains everything, why they ain't talking about it, all the blackout, media blackout, explains everything. The puzzle is just comes totally in the picture, and you really begin to understand the big picture and really how in, in, in deep trouble we really are because, again, the, the overall problem is fascism. It's really that simple. And fascism has a lot of symptoms of which the fact that when there's an industrial accident, people are not going to be, the public at large will not be given the truth. All right? And, we're, and we've already suffered deaths from this. Make no mistake. There's a bird study done in Chernobyl, and there's a bird study done around uh, Fukushima that both are congruent. Methodology the same, same effect with the birds both times. So we have a double check to the Mangano Sherman study. They might not know it yet, but I'll post that up, and you need to uh, watch that 30-minute video on the bird study that proves conclusively that that is the mortality rate going up from nothing else but the footprint of the radiation from Fukushima. So, folks, that's it for tonight. I'm going to finish it up here and go get my vegetable soup and my beer bread that my wife is still kind to make and thank her for taking care of me so this crippled old man can do this research and get the truth out. Join us on the Plume Gate Uncovered, Uncovering Plume Gate WordPress blog. Follow the links, dig into the documents, open a WordPress blog and start writing about it, man. I don't want it the glory. I don't want any glory. I want to go back and do music. Confirmed Reptilians coming out pretty soon. I'll let you guys know when that's up. So this is Tony Muga, a.k.a. Patrick Penry. 
That's a broadcast for tonight, and uh, I'll post up tomorrow and let you know if I come on again tomorrow.